at the stage of the procedure now where the vein is cannulated and we're about to introduce the laser fibre. Now, we at this clinic, the Vein Care Centre at the Melbury Clinic, we use the BioLitec system. Um, it's the state-of-the-art system uh, which has a 1470 nanometer wavelength. This has a number of advantages. It's specific for water, which um, is the main constituent of the vein wall. So it's selected, that energy is selected, selectively absorbed by the vein, uh, which means that it's much more comfortable uh, and the recovery is, is very, very uh, straightforward with very little discomfort. Um, the particular system that we use has a so-called aiming beam uh, and that helps us position the laser fibre very accurately and together with ultrasound we can be absolutely sure that the laser is in the correct place. It has uh, various marking points on it which allow us to ensure that we deliver the correct amount of laser energy to the vein uh, for a given length to ensure the complete success of the procedure. Um, I'm going to turn the light down a little bit and we'll be able to see the laser fibre with its aiming beam flashing being introduced to the vein and being positioned uh, at the top of the leg where the great saphenous vein joins the femoral vein. And um, what I'm going to do next is introduce the catheter into the cannula. The cannula has been placed inside the vein. The aiming beam allows us to follow the advancement of the catheter up the leg. Remember the catheter is inside the vein and it's following the course of the great saphenous vein up the inside of the thigh, underneath the skin and uh, we are watching it advance up the leg to where the great saphenous vein joins the femoral vein. So we've got the flashing light in the thigh. We're advancing the catheter right up and that's where I think the catheter is probably very close to the junction. For the last few centimetres we position the, vein, the catheter um, very close. Now as you can see on the screen we've got the superficial vein there. Um, it's compressible when I apply light pressure. As I advance it up the leg we can now see it joining the deep vein just there. Here we see the confluence of the great saphenous vein at the top left with the femoral vein in the middle and some people say that that image there in the middle looks a little bit like Mickey Mouse you can see his face in the middle and you can see his two ears. Now Mickey Mouse's left ear, i.e. the right one on the screen, is pulsating. His right ear is pulsating and that's the artery. And his face is the femoral vein and his left ear is the great saphenous vein. And we can see now as we advance the catheter that in a moment we're going to see a little white dot appear in Mickey Mouse's right ear. There it is. You can just see a little white dot appearing in Mickey Mouse's right ear, i.e. the left of the screen, and that indicates that we're very close to the junction. Now this is one of the few places where I do image the vein in transverse, so I'm now turning the probe 90 degrees, and I'm looking at the junction in transverse. I can see now that the tip of the catheter is positioned right at the correct place at the inferior epigastric vein and that is the correct place. So the catheter is now uh, in the position, we've cannulated the vein, advanced the laser and we're at the right place. And we're going to uh, now apply tumescent local anaesthetic.